Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our first of three personal breaks this evening and we are kicking things off tonight with a very fun opening. Three hobby boxes of 2021 Upper Deck Marvel Annual for Alexander B. all the way from England. Now some of you may be wondering, Allie, I've asked you before, you said you don't ship anywhere except the U.S. and Canada. And that is correct, but my answer stays the same. If you have a friend with a U.S. address or a forwarding service, we can deliver to that and then they can ship it to anywhere in the world for you. So thank you so much, Alexander, for letting me open up some Marvel Annual for you here. I hope to find you some awesome cards to add to your collection. Very, very excited to be checking out some more Marvel Annual. We did actually crack open a box this past weekend for Jimmy, and it gave me the urge to open up more annuals. So I'm excited. Very excited to see what we can find here. Maybe we can find autographs, sketch cards, splash ticular, lenticular inserts. Typically find one of those per box, but we're aiming for those bonus hits. So, three hobby boxes. Let's go ahead and get started here by snapping us into the corner. Let's go ahead and get started on exploring a momentous year in comics. So, there are 16 packs per box of Marvel Annual, at least one hit per box. Your Splash Ticular inserts, that does count as a premium insert, is your hits. You're typically finding a Splash Ticular and something else, but your hits range from those Lenticular inserts to Creator's Corner autographs of writers, pencilers, artists for Marvel Comics. You can also have sketch cards, single sketches, or booklet sketch cards in the form of battle booklets. You can also find tier 4 variants. Those don't count as hits, but those are very rare as compared to the 1920 annual set. I'm excited to get started. The first pack for Alexander. Looks like we're starting off with a Star Rookies. Variant tier 2, Dr. Voodoo. Star Rookies insert in Kala. It's a 5 card insert set, the Star Rookies. Variant Tier 1, Celestial Messiah, and we do have, I like this one with the Venom Dinosaur, Splash Ticular. I actually picked this one up for me when this set first came out many, many months ago. Splash Ticular number 15, Venom number 25, it's Carnage and the Venom Dinosaur. Number 1 spot insert, Axe of Swords, Destruction. Let's go ahead and get that splash sleeved on up. Quite the fun card. I will admit, I don't know much about Marvel Comics, although I do collect just things that I stumble across where I'm like, oh, that's a cool cover. Mainly if it's uh, Noto Arts or Momoko Arts or just, just stuff that I like, Art Germ. I pick it up rather than like reading. I'm bad about reading comics. I was good about getting Star Wars week to week for like about two years, but I just never read them. <laughs> so therefore I have like a really cool run of like 2017, 2018 Star Wars comics. A lot of first appearances and cool variants that are expensive from back then, but I'm just bad about reading. I don't know what it is. I'm like, I want to, and then I set in a pile, and then that happens again the next week or the next month or whenever the next issue comes out. And then it's like, oh, I have a couple long boxes full of stuff I haven't read. Oopsies. <laughs> uh, I would like to read more. I don't get to read as much as I'd like to in general. Scarlet Witch Tier 3 Variants, and Humble Beginnings Hercules. Variant Tier 1 Wolfsbane, and Deadpool Number 1 Spots. We have Rocket Raccoon Tier 2 and Empire Captain America number one spot. Variant Tier 1 Havoc. Screen Curse of Carnage number one. If I remember correctly, I think Annual sold out on EPAC. Magic Variant Tier 3. And then Annual Impact Spider Woman. Is there any Marvel not sold out on EPAC right now? Remember seeing people picking off some, I think, like Spider-Man Homecoming packs not too long ago? Maybe that was just what was left. I don't know. I know people are heavily anticipating Spider-Man Metal to go on EPAC. Not sure when that'll actually ever go up. Usually, you'd think it'd be pretty soon, but sometimes it takes a couple months. So... 
I don't, I don't, I don't actually have an EPAC account myself, even though I, I want one. The thing is, is like, I can't just be bored at home feeling the urge to crack packs and actually have the ability to do so by just logging into an account. Like that's not safe for me. So I just stay away from it. Like, I don't want to just be at home bored and be like, let me just go open a box of Spider-Man metal. Or like, let me just do one pack. Let me be good. Do one pack. And then just, oh, just one more pack. And I can't, I can't. So I have banned myself from E-Pack. But Bishop, tier one variant and star rookies, no. Wonder if we'll find a tier four in these three boxes. Tier one arrow. Strange Academy, number one spot. Tier one Scalp Hunter. X Factor, number one. All right, that side of the pack didn't want to open, so we'll just flip it over, I guess. All right, here we go. Tier 2 Domino and Annual Impact, Captain America. Tier 1 North Star, Humble Beginnings, Cap. Alright, two packs left here in Box 1. So far, just the Venom Dino. Tier 1 Dakin, and ooh, we do have a Holofoil Parallel. We do have a Hologram. 37 of 49 of Karma. Very cool. I love the foiling on the annual parallels. That is not the... I think that's considered just the regular foil board. And then the cards numbered to 2021. And not 2021. Just actually out of 21. This isn't this isn't Topps flagship baseball. It's actually just numbered to 21. I think those are considered the holograms, but these are foil board parallels. They say hologram on them, though. It's been eight months or so since I've looked at the annual checklist. I will say I can't remember off the top of my head. But it's number 49, just a couple of these per case. So nice pull here of Karma for Alexander. Nice. All right, last pack here, box one. Nanny, Tier 1, and Null, Annual Impact. All right. One box down, two more to go. One hits in the first box. The Dinosaur Splash Ticular. Like I said, I like that card. I have it myself. I'm a big fan. But we're looking to find a sketch. We're looking to find a sketch. That is the goal here. Or at least my personal goal out of these three boxes. We'll take an autograph. We'll take more hologram foils. We'll take a tier four variant. But we're looking for a sketch card. So maybe even a battle booklet. All right, here we go. Pack one, box two. Tier two, Captain Britain. And Humble Beginnings, Spider-Man. Tier one, Scream. And Black Panther, Annual Impact. Tier 2, Null, and Daredevil, number one spot. Tier 1, Cable, Captain Marvel, Annual Impact. Spider-Man, Tier 4, nice, nice, nice. Star Rookies, Black Winter, very nice on that Spider-Man. Now, like I said, as opposed to 1920 annual, those you found like a tier four, just about every box. Some boxes you had two, some you had zero, but on average, it was like a like two or three tier threes and a tier four per box. This year, though, 2021 annual, I put this back because it's like broken, so I should actually just put that for recycling. I don't know where that went. Anyways, here you're finding you're finding like two per case. So they are quite pricey, especially Spider-Man. Spider-Man's always the hotness, but very, very nice tier four variants. Ooh, we're starting off good. We got that hologram Karma to 49. 
My favorite splash tickler. Spider-Man Tier 4. Very nice. IO Tier 1 and Annual Impact 4. Tier 3 Hawkeye. Captain Marvel, Humble Beginnings. Alright, finishing up the first half of Box 2. Are you? Are you an auto? Yeah, we have Creator's Corner Autograph. Empire, Avengers number 2, writer, Jim Zub. That is an auto here. Creator's Corner Autograph. Alright. So like I said, the writer for Empire Avengers number 2 in 2020, Jim Zub, is our first hit here of box number 2. I do wonder if we will still be finding a splash ticular. More often than not, there's a splash every box, but we could just find only this autograph. Very cool though. We found an auto. I wonder if we can get one auto and one sketch out of three boxes. Might be a tall order, but we did find a foil and we found a tier four already. May as well just go for like the whole ensemble. Psylocke tier two. Axe of Swords, Stasis, number one. Tier 1, Prestige. And we do have a Splash. I'm trying to figure out who's that hanging from the ceiling. What Splash Ticular number 18 from Wolverine number 1. That is our second Splash here. Total second hits of Box 2. do have a tier one Angela variant. So I was wondering if we would end up finding any Angela cards here. So I didn't want to just bring it up, but I've been thinking about it all day since I saw these, these boxes in the queue shelf. Unfortunately, over the weekend, we did lose an upstanding member of the Marvel community, Angela fanatic, Christopher. If you guys probably have seen that name around before, hung out with us here on the channel, was a channel member for a long time, always would hang out in the streams. Unfortunately, Christopher passed away over the weekend. And that was really shocking and sad news to see. I don't, before anyone in the comments asks what happened, I don't know and I don't care to find out. That's none of my business. But rest in peace to Christopher. Surprised it took us two boxes to find an Angela. Very, very sad news for him and his family. Tier 2, Lady Sif, Humble Beginnings, Vision. The Spider-Man Tier 1 and Humble Beginnings Vision. Tier 1 Crescent and Strange Academy, number one spot. It's another Angelo. Tier 3 Cyclops and Daredevil, number one spot. Final pack here of Box 2. Wiccan, Tier 1, and Empire, number one spot. All right, two boxes down, two splash, one auto, a Tier 4, and a hologram foil board, I think. Like I said, it says hologram on it. But I believe only the out of 21s are the true holograms. I think that might just be foil board. Either way, looks nice. Shiny cardboard to 49. Last box. I always forget. It's been a while. I always forget about the upper deck seal. So I don't get to open as much upper deck, of course, as I used to. Which I was surprised. Uh, shipped out today. Four cases of 22-23. So 2022-2023 MVP Hockey. So not only do we have Pokemon Lost Origin releasing on Friday. Not only do we have Magic Gathering Dominaria United releasing on Friday. But we also have MVP Hockey, so busy, busy week. Much busier than I expected to be this week. I didn't expect to be ripping four cases of MVP on Friday, but that's what's going to be going on. 
tier two Monica and Splash Ticular. Oh, there's a little dino, uh, not a dinosaur, but there's a little shark in there. That's cute. This is from Deadpool number five. I had a feeling this was gonna be something Deadpool. I'm like, what other comic series would have like, whatever that is. That looks like a dinosaur, like little sharks. And he's like in love with the shark. Tell you what, that shark looks cute though. Makes sense. Splash Ticular number two. First hit of box number three. So three for three on Splash Ticulars. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Tier one Colossus and Annual Impact, Captain Marvel. Tier two Morbius. This box said it's Morbin time. That meme dead yet? It certainly is stale, that's for sure. Although I still do enjoy Morbin time. Moon Dragon Tier 1 and Humble Beginnings Captain Marvel. Tier 1 Polaris, Annual Impact, Black Panther. Tier 1 Phantom X and Star Rookies Black Winter. Daredevil Tier 3, Empire Avengers number 1. Last pack on the right side of box 3. Molly Hayes and Humble Beginnings Vision. Tier, tier 2 Blade and Scream, number one spot. Amadeus Cho and Arrow, number one. Gertrude, Tier 1, and Star Rookies, Emperor Dorek the Eighth. Closing in on the end of the box here. Just one more stack of packs to go. Emma Frost, Tier 2, and Spider-Man, Humble Beginnings. These are the Humble Beginnings sets, 10 cards. Did we find a Scarlet Witch or Black Widow, though? I feel like we've had several duplicates there. Not sure if we assembled the full set or not. Star Rookies just has five, so I think we have a full set. Humble Beginnings, not sure. She-Hulk, Tier 3, Black Winter, Star Rookies. Final pack here for Alexander. Let's see, can we have Last Pack Magic with a sketch? No, we do have an annual impact, though, behind this Cosmic Ghost Rider. We have Thor. To wrap things off. We're actually wrapping things off with an eye boy. That is oddly fitting for this channel. I selectively chose to ignore the tier one variant eye boy when we pulled the autograph. And of course, eye boy didn't let me ignore him forever, though. We had to finish off with a last card. Eye boy, of course. Eye boy is inevitable. Forget Thanos. Eye boy. Eye boy everywhere. Let me go ahead and tidy up our piles. Curiosity's sake, I want to see if we have that full Humble beginning set. Like I said, I don't think we had a Scarlet Witch. Oh, we're missing several here. Oh, yeah. Interesting collation across the three boxes, though. But yeah, the Humble beginning set has ten cards. Do not get close on that one. Star Rookies. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, we didn't have number five. Who's number five? That is interesting. We had a lot of Black Winters, though. We are missing number five. That is surprising, in my personal opinion. Thought we saw all of them. Can't recall who we're missing. Would we'll have to take a look at the checklist. Then the annual impact, I believe, also is a ten card set. Do 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 do. And oh no, annual impact. Ah oh, yeah, the null is ten. I thought that said twenty for a second. I was like, hold up, wait a minute. 
But all right, let's start off our real recap here. Take a little look at all of our top loaded cards. Did have the tier four Spider-Man. Very nice pull, card number 25. And one hologram foil board. 37 of 49 Karma, card number 84. One Creator's Corner Autograph, the writer of Empire Avengers number two, Jim Zub. And then three Splash Ticulars. I'm not sure if any of these are short prints. I know the SSP all had to do with the Empire comics. Don't remember if any S, what the SPs had to do with anything. This Wolverine to me seems like I haven't seen this one often, so I'm wondering if that's maybe an SP. I don't think the Deadpool or the Venom are, but we did have the Lovely Shark, Splash Ticular. We had the Carnage and Venom Dinosaur, which is still, like I said, my favorite card. <laughs> and then this Wolverine here, Splash Ticular number 18 from Wolverine number one. Also in total across the three boxes did have six tier threes, two per box on these, Scarlet Witch, Magic, Hawkeye, Cyclops, Daredevil, and She-Hulk. Nice character assortment on the tier three variants. I know Moon Knight's also tier three. So a really nice character assortment. Ooh, look at that. Just noticed that uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider's a little bit chewed up up top there. That's too bad. But thank you so much, Alexander, for letting me open up some Marvel for you here on the channel. I really hope that you enjoyed your opening and love all of these new additions to your collection. Not just these top loaded cards here, but everything. Very cool. Congrats on these bonuses. Very happy that we found an autograph. Like I said, we were aiming for a sketch. Would we'll definitely take an auto, take a tier four, take some foils. So that is what we ended up finding here tonight. But with that, that does wrap off our Marvel. We do have some Star Wars. There's some more non-sports coming up in a little bit, as well as Y Shorts, the Seven Deadly Sins. So we have anime and Star Wars for the rest of tonight's schedule. But before I get on out of here, of course, I have to do all of our end of video procedures. All of you out there watching, Alexander, a different Alexander, not an Alexander at all. I hope that you all enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me, drop those down below. And if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, I'd love for you to join us here. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, just for fun, since we just saw Spider-Man Metal, what do you think the next Marvel products will actually be? Do you think we're seeing into the Spider-Verse first? Do you think we're seeing Marvel Beginnings, Volume 1? you think we're finding Fleer Ultra Avengers up next? Premieres just kind of in the void and a bunch of other sets that haven't gone up for pre-order yet, but we know they exist. What do you what do you think's coming next? Spider-Verse, Beginnings, or Fleer Ultra Avengers? Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious for what you guys think is going to happen. I honestly don't know. I would think Spider-Verse would come first because it's now it's like the oldest remaining one, but... I have no clue. So I'm curious on your guys' thoughts on that. Drop that down below. And like I said, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you join us. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, before I get on out of here, still one thing left to do, and that is to give an extra special shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have seven Black Label fans, and in Bounty Hunter Breaks, Devon, Kira Soltari, MT, Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have nine Gem Mint fans. Bamboo, Geriatric Geek, Jonathan Scott, Michael C., Michael Bigelow, Squirt Card Collectibles, Shinnef Zen, Touchdown, On Paper, Unbreaded, and Vanek. But thank you so much again, though, to all of our channel members. And all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. But with that, that does finish up this video here tonight. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I hope you all join me in the next one. Bye!